Alright guys, my name is Robert. I wanted to say thanks for coming to the channel. I'm outside right now. It's a little bit windy. Hope you can hear me. I got this little Insta mic thing. Hopefully it'll pick up a little bit better as far as sounds. I want to talk about something. We're home. Um, this week I'm home. Hopefully I can stay home until everything is done. I hope you guys are safe and everything out there. But um, anyways, uh, people keep on asking me. They said, what's this guy? <laughs> Why am I carrying this tire? And, and what's holding it and stuff like that. So that's why I want to do the video. I'm going to talk about that in about two seconds. First of all, I want to say I love these wheels right here. That is a 1552 analog HD in 17-inch black. And I just love the way it gives it that steely look, but it's an aluminum wheel. So it doesn't rust like steel and it's a little bit lighter and just as strong. Tires are a Toyo RT 305 7017, so it's about a 34 inch tire, a little bit, bit under. The reason why I got this tire carrier, not just because it's cool looking, it's because this tire, because of the 34 inch tire, it doesn't fit underneath the, the, uh, the truck. It, it, it kind of fit, I squeezed it in there, but it was a very, very tight fit, very, very odd fit. Uh, 33 inch is the maximum tire you can stick underneath that I would suggest. So being a 34 or if you have a 35 or 37 or bigger, you're going to need a tire carrier of sorts unless you want to carry it inside the bed, which is going to take up some space. Um, so that's the reason why I got that. Another, let me show some angles here for clearance. So you can see the jack is there, but there's room for rotopacks right here. Um, some people might not like that depth, but um, I think it's fine. And the bigger deal is that it has enough clearance towards the bottom here so you can see it won't hit anything. All right, so let me show you how this tire carrier works. So uh, let me make some room so you guys can see it. By removing that pin, I can go ahead and get this tire carrier out of the way so I could drop the tailgate. The way it gets on is that it uses a stock hitch here and it goes in there um, it wedges in there, so the other side, I'll show you a picture, that it wedges inside, so that way this is nice and sturdy. And what's cool too, this is a solo uh, high clearance, so it sets up higher. And the advantage of that is that, so that way you could put another hitch here if you needed to. So you could double hitch, have a recovery hitch as well without removing it. Uh, this is made by Woco. They've, uh, they're the innovators of it. And a lot of people will say, well, how come you're not going to get a full bumper swing out? Because this is not that cheap. Well, the answer is with a full bumper swing out, a lot of times you can't really remove the arm that easily. Uh, with this one, if you had to remove it for whatever reason, you want to start moving stuff, you want to drop the tailgate, you can do that and you can just pop that out. So that's another advantage of it. Um, it's also modular, as you can see here. I have this plate and I've added it. Uh, I'm trying to get some roto packs hopefully later and put one on there, but I got the high lift jack right here. So that's what I have. Uh, it's, uh, you can have another sup with two roto packs and then there's other configurations. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can see what you can get. I got a lock down a little bit. Of course, it's not the best lock here, but it's a deterrent. If people want to take your stuff, people are going to take your stuff, you know, just like anything. Um, I do have a lock down there on that hitch as well, by the way. So that's how it works. Uh, some people might be worried about the clearance of it and um, it seems to be working well for me. Um, let me pop this open real quick so you can see the clearance. So it clears the tailgate. I mean, I could put it about right here without any worries on the tailgate blocking the way or hitting the tire. So uh, um, the way you swing this out, you can swing it out pretty far. You do have to be careful of the tire here. There's no stopper. Um, it can hit the tailgate, or it can hit the tail light, I should say. And another thing uh, you can do, uh, I've noticed if you don't tighten this enough when you install it, it could be, uh, it could shift. It could shift a little bit if you're up here or downhill, depending on weight. I am level, so I'm not having an issue with it. But just to let you know, you start adding more weight like this, you're gonna have to tighten this up as well. But as far as uh, putting it on or off like this, you just swing it out and uh, put the pin on right here. 
and that's how it is as far as security um, and won't fall out or anything. However, one thing I want to say is that tire and, and wheel combo, it gets a little bit heavy and it's hard to see where you're mounting. So it's best to have a friend, I had my son, um, watch you how to put that on and uh, get the right angles so you could start putting on the lug nuts properly to mount the tire. All right, guys, that was just a quick video about this. Hope I answered your questions. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Be safe. Peace out.